From the book of Mark, chapter 16, the shorter ending to this gospel. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the witness of our ancestors in faith. May God's word speak to us in these words. Come on, Peter. Come on. Where are you? Hey, Mary. You wanted to talk? Yeah, there's something I wanted to tell you. Oh, maybe I should call back later. Peter? Yeah, Mary? Never mind. Maybe it's nothing. What, Mary? Like, what, what is so important that you don't want to talk about it? Like, what is it that you don't need to tell me that you just called me about? And... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I miss him. Yeah, Peter, I know. All of us are missing him. Yeah, I know. I know. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Not two days ago, our love was sitting over there laughing at one of Philip's stupid, stupid jokes. How many Roman centurions does it take to light a lamp? his favorite, where he was curled up with the children all around him, telling stories of the journey through the desert. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then trying to beat me at arm wrestling. <laughs> the great carpenter versus the net holler debate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss, miss him. him. Yeah. I can't believe it's over. Peter. Didn't we start here? Okay, let, let me try again. Yes, Mary. Is there something on your mind? Peter, what if? What if? Mom, Mary, what are you trying to say? Well, Peter, what if it isn't over? He's dead, Mary. Jesus is dead. <laughs> of course it's over. I mean, do, do you think he's going to pull a Lazarus on us? Tap on the seal stone and hop out and have all his wrappings drop away and dance around? You went to the tomb. You saw his body. You were there. He's dead. He's dead. And I didn't do anything about it. I mean, if I had stood by him in the garden, we might have gotten away. Peter. By the holy name. If I hadn't denied him, at least I wouldn't be standing here talking with you. I wouldn't be staring at the wall knowing that I'm a coward. Knowing that I left him to die. Pete, 
I've been with him from the beginning, Mary. We talked and we argued and we stood in the face of the authorities. I should have died beside him. I should be dead. He, he thought he thought he was relying on his rock. All he had was a pile of rubble. Peter, stop. What? Peter, Peter, you were his rock then. You are his rock now. Peter, you are our rock. We need you. Grieve, get angry, be sad, be afraid, feel all the feelings, Peter. But you gotta know that we will not let you go. We need you, Peter. Look at me. I'm asking you again, what if it isn't over? I don't understand, Mary. I mean, if Jesus were here with us, well, we'd be doing the same thing we were always doing, you know, walking with him and learning from him and teaching and helping people to understand that the Holy One is here and now, that we're part of, of the divine household. Yes, we're part of that divine household with the responsibility of loving God with all that we are and loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. Yeah. I know. If it weren't over, we'd been doing what we've done right from the beginning since he showed up in our lives. Peter, what did Jesus tell us to do if we got separated or if the authorities took him away? Well, he didn't really give us any orders well, except to love one another. But I, I guess he hoped that we would keep sharing God's love, the, the, the love that God had given him. Didn't he ask us to meet him? <laughs> he, he did say that if we ever got separated, that we should go to Galilee because he would always meet us there. Exactly. He said he would always meet us there. Mary, I know it's hard to believe. I know it's a shock, but he's dead. You, you saw him uh, take his last breath. You saw them take his body down and, and, and take it to the tomb. I mean, you were there this morning. You saw his body. I saw nothing. Well, then why imagine anything different? Because, Peter, I saw nothing. All right. My brother, I'm going to Galilee. I'm going where he said he would meet us. I'm going back to the beginning to see if I can find him there. I'm afraid what will happen when you don't find him there, sister? If I don't find him there, somehow, some way, life will go on. But Peter, I'm more afraid of what will happen when I do find him there. Brother, I'm going to Galilee. Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming?